so I'm going out to catch a boomerang. Boomerang is our beautiful black stallion. Came from the wild this year, but he's got a crooked leg. And it's been a major concern to us. And it's just an amazing story as well, because well, when he first came in, we suspected it had been broken and healed in the wild. The vet x-rayed it, showed that it had been broken and had healed on its own. He's got a big curve in his leg because of it, but it has healed. And now we're getting ready to castrate him in the future. And we want to take another look at his leg today, x-ray again, and just see what that leg is doing, make sure it's still healing, that the break has stayed stable and solid. So it's going to be a bit of a busy afternoon. We're going to look at that leg, do a few things, talk to the vet and make a plan for his future. So this is Boomerang here, I'm going to go grab him. You can see that nice crooked leg even from here. Hey buddy. Let's go. So that leg is super wonky, but you can see he is thriving. He's nice and shiny and healthy, but we just want to keep looking at this leg and just making sure we keep a good eye on what it's doing. And what's actually amazing is he came in from the wild in really good shape. And you'd think a horse with an injury this bad would come in from the wild looking pretty rough, like maybe really skinny, but he's looked amazing all the way through. And as you can see, he's made friends with the domestic horses. He's got Ricky Baker, our young horse Kabuki here, all good friends. And we got Romeo behind him. Romeo's another stallion from the wild. He's just coming in. He's going to get ridden here in a minute. He's not getting any vet work, but Boomerang is. Come on, guys. There we go. There we go. And you can see Boomerang is so black. He's almost purple in the sunlight. He's got the most amazing black coat on him. forward a bit and always holly when you take their halter off make sure they bend around to you oh you're okay so we're just going to give him a little bit of sedation here so he stands nice and still for his x-rays good boys we'll take it nice and slow 
Just a little needle there. Good boy, and one, two. Well done, that's right. Good boy. Good boy. Just a little bit of sedation there, and we'll just give him a few minutes there to go nice and sleepy before we start bothering him again. Good boy. So to get good x-rays, he needs to stand really perfectly still because any movement is going to give us a blurry image and we can't see anything with it. So we'll just give him a few minutes for the sedation to really work well because if we interfere with him too much, he's just not going to get sedated. So we're going to wait until he's really nice and sleepy and just doesn't move anymore, doesn't tremble. And we'll take the x-rays when he's all ready. There, good boy. So we'll go nice and slow. We're going to clean his leg and get rid of all the little bit of sand because those are the kind of things that will show up in our x-ray and they're going to distort the image and make a thing there is something there when there's really not so we just want to make him pretty much spotless which he tolerates really well now that he's asleep good boy so any oh god he does have dirty feathers <laughs> yeah i guess we're not going that low anyway so we should be all right but yeah Here you go. So we're just going to clean the area that we're actually interested in x-raying today. The last time we did the rest of his legs as well, we're now three months later. So I don't think we need to do the rest of his leg, but we just want to see how this old fracture is doing and whether we have made some progress because last time it just hadn't quite healed. So we're going to see how we've progressed over the past three months and whether there are any changes. So we trimmed his feet last week and that has changed the way he's walked. He's definitely walking a little bit more tenderly in the paddock, we've noticed. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what that's done with the x-rays as well and to see if that has changed the balance of his feet compared to what it looked like three months ago. All right, we'll get the x-ray ready. And then it just closes with the Velcro. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm going to shoot from this way out. So if right. you, yeah, just like this. Um, just make sure he knows you're there and go all the way down his leg and put the plate right against his leg. Yeah, yeah. Like that. that's it. This and we're going to go a bit lower. So we're going to center our image here. That's it a little bit lower again. And I think we're going to just go up here just because he is quite, yeah, that looks good. Just because he is quite toed out. So it changes the way we take our x-rays a little bit. If you can just tilt it a little bit more with the outside away, please. So yeah, side. just that way. Yeah, it's beautiful. All right, so we'll take an x-ray. And that's it. So you're going to try and take it from here? I'm going to try to take it from here. So we've got x-ray. Let me see. And then my gun keeps falling off. Um, yeah, so this is three months ago, and that's today. So all those things, like they're quite fuzzy just on the left here and on the bottom as well, whereas this is all a bit smoother. Hey, that black oh, spot. No. Yes. So that's the nutrient foramen. So that's where your uh, blood vessels and things go into the bone. Okay. That's what yeah. I thought, but I wasn't sure. Yeah. No, that's normal. Um, how do I change your color off here? it's also like you've still got a few little fragments just coming off the side but there's less than on the last image yeah it looks does it am i imagining it or does it look slightly thicker and stronger on the um, new one or is that just the x that might partially be positioning as well mm. but this bit should i just try to get them the same size this bit here so this is a bit of a sequestrum so it's a piece of bone that's become bruised and it doesn't have the same nutrient supply anymore as the rest of the bone does. So it's quite an unhappy piece, but it's really covered by the rest of the bone. So you can't actually get to it. But even that is starting to improve in this image. Mm. It's not looking great, but it's looking better. Like all those little things are starting to just get a little bit smoother. I will take better. Yeah, I think we take better. I'll take better. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> a it's a starting and, point. And that's the worst case scenario. I'm taking better as a good. I think so. All right, so we've done the x-rays on Boomerang today and it is starting to look a little bit better, which is really nice to see. So the leg is continuing to heal all the time, which is awesome. So at some point we will get to the fully healed stage. We're not quite there yet, but it is getting better every time we're looking at him. Um, 
the other thing with Boomerang is that he has only got one and a half testicles at the moment. So one of them has fully descended, the other one is still quite high up. So to geld him, that causes a bit of a tricky situation. I think in his case, we can just feel it. So it's there and we should be okay to do it. But what we were hoping to do with him because of his broken leg, and we're not quite sure how he's going to cope with having the anesthetic and being knocked out, out in the paddock. We were hoping to do it standing, which we can't do when he's only got, well, no, when he's got one testicle really high up, because we need to be able to get to it easily. So we're going to have to just us at that plan a little bit and see what we can do with him to do this in the safest way possible. He is getting quite culty at the moment, so we do need to get him gelded. It would be lovely to keep him as a stallion, but you, you can't. We need to find somewhere for him to graze, and it's much, much easier if he is a gelding.